told you guys a little bit about my story. Aaron Burton's opioid addiction began with Percocet, prescribed for pain after surgery for a football injury. That first time I put that substance in my body and that hit my bloodstream, everything changed from there. Once Aaron's prescription ran out, it was easy for him to get his hands on more opioid pills. Making one phone call to a friend or, or a family member that had just had surgery, it was simple as walking up to their you know, medicine cabinet. It's a widespread problem. Surgeons write 28 million prescriptions for opioids each year, and 75% of those pills go unused. How are you doing today? Now, Good. one Good surgeon is raising a red flag. Those leftover opioids are dangerous and in getting into the wrong hands. The majority of patients who end up in addiction clinics who say that they started with a surgical encounter, that should be on us. It's a simple but radical idea for a new kind of drug take-back program. Did you bring them with you today? I did. Northwestern surgery down. patients at their post-op visit are asked to bring one thing. Just hold that down. Their Can bottle of unused okay. pills. Somebody brings in pills and they toss them in here. Yep. How's that keeping them and their loved ones safe? Once they go in that bin, they're out of circulation. They're out of harm's way. There's no chance of misuse, abuse, addiction, overdose. But what about the surgeons? They prescribe on average 50 opioid pills per patient to control post-op pain. Could they cut the number? Surgeons need better guidelines to better manage patients' pain. Those guidelines need to be procedure or surgery specific. Since no national guidelines exist, Northwestern now uses Dr. Stolberg's data to see how patients really use painkillers. The results are stunning. Instead of 50 pills, the typical orthopedic patient uses no more than 25. For a C-section, 15. Tonsillectomy, as few as five. Many surgery patients need no opioids at all. How many of you guys here? Today, Aaron is in recovery, working as an addiction counselor, helping others as someone once in their shoes, taking aim at addiction by putting leftover pills in their proper place. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Chicago. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.